All right, we're plugged in, everything's put back together. We'll go ahead and turn the control on. Going through initialization. Going for thermocouples, making sure the SSRBs, the simulator is connected. And at this point, it gives you your version, firmware, and then your SIB version. And it goes to the home screen. At this screen, the unit is indeed off. There's no heat being generated. Okay. So we have your settings. You're gonna enter your password. Hit the green check mark. And at this point, you're gonna turn around and do configurations. Fahrenheit, Celsius, toggle on or off. Configurations. Okay, this is a six lane grill. So it is operating a six lane. Okay, and you have whichever menu you have. And diagnostics. See what's under diagnostics, nothing. Factor defaults. Resetting unit to factor defaults, are you sure? I do not want to set the factor defaults. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it. Grill information. This is where I can enter in a serial number. Number's over here. Cancel, so I'm not gonna change it. Install date, that would be today uh, that you're doing it. And then the store number. So you want to store, put the store number in, press it, and go ahead and enter your store number and hit the green check mark. I'm not gonna do that. This is still a brand new grill. Sound and volume, you got 100%. I believe they're sending them out at 80%. Hit the check mark. Okay. Passwords, tech password, user password. Don't have to worry about that. And menu edit, cooking, staging, cleaning. Okay, cooking, grill temperature. Too hot, too cold, soak time. So we're gonna scroll down. Oops, scroll down. I'm gonna turn around and go cooking mode. Recipe number one. This will be eggs. So cook your eggs on this grill. 180, 120. Go down, etc. Hit back. Staging. Grill temperature. Too hot, 75 degrees. Too cold, 100. Uh, to use Fahrenheit and then soak time, zero soak time. Then here's your four ounce, two ounce, simply highlight it and it's gonna turn around and give you some options. So go back to not changing anything and then cleaning, whatever grill temperature, cleaning material you have, which is already pre-programmed for Wendy's, it's ready to go. I'll exit out of there. And that takes care of what's in the settings screen. USB, software update, import menus, export menus, hit export, import, etc. I don't have USB in there, so we're not gonna worry about it. Statistics, how many cook cycles? A quarter cycle, staging cycles, expired staging. Serial number install date will be here, and then the current firmware and software will be here as well. Okay, again, this is a brand new grill, hasn't been updated yet, so we'll go back. Okay, then here, we have it's heating up, okay, it's current temperature, current temperature, and uh, we're not gonna heat it up completely, so I'm gonna stop it. If I wanna hit my temperature button, these are my left set point, my right set point. And again, if you look at the grill, one through three, and then four through, through six. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's the set point for the left and the right side. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to not, I don't wanna heat it up. This symbol right here just means it's not connected to Wi-Fi. The grill will work perfectly normal without Wi-Fi being set up. And I'm gonna cancel that out. Uh, again, this here is for your, this is for your AM. This is for your AM slash PM timeframe. Click that and it's gonna give you your AM PM. Go rid of that. This is strictly PM. And then this is going to be your clean settings. 
again, temperature gives you your actual, your set temperature. Again, right now in the off screen, zero, zero is your actual set temperatures. Okay. So I'm not gonna heat it up, so I wanna be able to create this unit back up again. And that runs through your easy touch control. Garland, a well-built brand, thanks you for watching this short how-to video.